Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Or do you miss somebody else? Has COVID taken your joy away in that you haven't really had a chance to be up close and personal with someone? Well, this is my up close and personal with Gaston. I am here to catch up with you, but the pundit that I am is meaning K-E-T-C-H-U-P. I have tried a number of the keto ketchup recipes, and for the most part, I've been pleased with them all. But to me, they were lacking simplicity, and Gaston and I are here to teach us our version of making keto ketchup. Everyone and their dog seems to lay hold to the fact that they created ketchup. Well, from my youth, the Heinz bottle was always on the table, ready to be put on our burgers or hot dogs. These are the simple ingredients I'm going to make in order to make our keto ketchup. So we have xanthan gum, salt, tomato paste in a six ounce can, a few packages of sweetener, and some good old vinegar. So as you see, I have mixed all of the ingredients together and now I am just going to remove the um, spoon and the spatula and whisk this all together and put it on a medium heat. This is probably 12 minutes at a gentle, well once it came to a boil I let it go for a couple of extra minutes and see it does seem to be quite thick so now we're going to just let it cool and see where the thickness is once it's um, once it's uh, room temperature. Here is my finished product and uh, this turned out really really well. This can be refrigerated for for use within the next week or two and if you don't use that much ketchup then you should freeze it in about quarter cup portions as it will mold. It was great catching up with you. Enjoy my recipe of keto ketchup, which only has 0 0.6 carbs per tablespoon. And we'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day.